Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It is great to see you and welcome back to my kitchen. Today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep are the manufacturers of premium bedding and mattresses that are customized for your sleeping needs. You take the Helix Sleep quiz like I did, enter your sleeping preferences. I happen to be a slide sleeper. I share my bed with my husband. I prefer a firmer, type mattress the sleep quiz will take that into account and also take in your partner's sleeping preferences and find a happy compromise with your needs and your partner's sleeping needs as well and we happen to match with the helix sleep dusk lux we love it we've had the mattress for about a year now we we're getting great sleep we feel cozy and comfortable i love the squishy top yet our backs feel supported it is a huge upgrade to the mattress we were using before we inherited that mattress. It served us well, but it really needed to be replaced. So, so grateful for our new mattress. Our children also sleep on Helix Sleep mattresses and they are getting great sleep as well. I like the fact that the mattresses arrive right to your doorstep in a compact cardboard box, which is great for maneuvering up narrow sets of stairwells like ours. And it makes installation a lot simpler too. I was able to install our mattress by myself. Helix Sleep offers a 100 night sleep trial and a 10 year warranty. If you're not happy with your mattress, they will pick it up and give you a full refund. There are also financing options and flexible payment plans. Helix Sleeps delivers your mattress right to your doorstep and if you live in the US, shipping is free. So if you'd like to start getting better sleep, click the link down below or go to helixsleep.com slash emmymade to see how you can receive up to $200 off your Helix Sleep mattress and two free pillows. Big thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video and for their continued support. So today I'm going to be making a recipe that was brought to my attention by Any Kind Snacks over on Instagram. Thank you so much for direct messaging me this because I had never heard of it before. It is called by a few names. The most striking is coyote droppings, coyote poo. <laughs> it's a snack basically made of Cheetos that are candied. We're gonna be making candied Cheetos, which sounds much more descriptive and understandable and delicious tasting than coyote droppings, which does garner a certain amount of interest in itself. But at any rate, that's what we're gonna be making today. We're gonna to be taking Cheetos, the puffy snacks, these puffy cheesy snacks, and we're gonna be enrobing them in a sweet caramel, and then we're gonna taste them. I imagine this is gonna taste good. Cheeto puffs, airy, cheesy, savory, and then you've got this sweet kind of buttery confection lay outside, kind of like, candied popcorn, caramel popcorn. That's what I'm envisioning because the base of Cheetos after all are corn with all that cheesy flavoring on the outside. But we won't really know what this tastes like until we actually make it. So the recipe I'm going to be testing today was sent to me by Any Kind Snacks. It comes from Just a Pinch and the author is Benny Shaw and I will put a link down below to the original. So let's go ahead and make some coyote Dropping, shall we? <laughs> Do you ever think that those words would come out of your mouth? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> We're gonna need some Cheetos. I went to the grocery store and bought a package of Cheeto puffs. I actually prefer the crunchy Cheetos. I wanted to do a little comparison with the crunchy versus the puffs so I could coat both of these, but they didn't have any large bags of crunchy Cheetos, none, none the Flaming Hots, no flavors whatsoever. I was only able to find some snack pack sizes. So I found just three little measly crunchy ones, but I'm going to attempt to coat these as well so I can have a little comparison. I love the crunchiness of crunchy Cheetos. I actually prefer them to the Airy Puffs, but in terms of what they look like, these might look a little bit more like the Coyote Droppings in scale and diameter and so on and so forth, but I don't know. So if you don't have Cheetos where you live, you might have a version of a ch cheesy puff like that. They are quite universal at this point. And the crunchy Cheetos, of course, look like that. They are smaller in diameter and denser in texture and of course, crunchy rather than airy. So the first thing we need to do is make the sweet syrupy stuff that we're going to coat these in. In my skillet, 
I'm going to melt a half cup of butter or one stick, eight tablespoons. And I am going to be making a half batch. I bought one bag, but then when I came home to read the recipe, it said that I needed 16 ounces of Cheeto puffs, and this is only eight. So we're making a half batch. At any rate, we're gonna melt our butter. So while my butter is melting in this large bowl, I'm gonna empty most of these Cheeto puffs. Wow, look at that color. Amazing. So I'm gonna reserve just a couple handfuls because I'm also going to be making the crunchies as well. Oh my gosh, I haven't had one of these in so long. Corny, airy, light, savory, cheesy, orange stainy, delicious. Now, at first I thought I would separate the crunchy from the puffs, but I think once I get this going, it's probably gonna be easier not to do that. So I'm gonna just dump these in there as well. Wow. Okay. Dump the, oh my gosh, yes. Mm. I prefer crunchy so much more to the airy puff. Um, so good. So, my butter is rapidly coming to the meltage. To this, we're gonna add two tablespoons of corn syrup. So I dip my spoon into the hot butter and that will help the syrup come out of the spoon. Look at that. See? Clean spoon. Very easy little tip there. Oop. Look at that. Clean. Very nice. Okay, and one cup of brown sugar. Whoa, don't do that. <laughs> All right, now we're going to bring this to a boil and then cook it for five minutes. So my butter is certainly hot and we're gonna cook this into a little bit of a syrup. The cornstarch will help keep this from crystallizing. Not cornstarch, syrup. The corn syrup that we added to this will help this prevent this from crystallizing because sugar likes to do that. Mm -hmm. If you've seen my Tong Hulu video, or if you haven't, you can check it out and see my, my trials and tribulations with candy make. <laughs> but then I use corn syrup in the recipe and all was well. If you don't know what Tang Hulu is, it's this beautiful crystal clear candy coating shell that you can put over fruit, strawberries, hawthorn fruit. You find it in China and it is so beautiful and seemingly simple, but sugar, if you've ever played with it, is not simple. Check out the video if you wanna get some laughs. Alrighty, so we're gonna let this simmer now for five minutos. While that's bubbling away, I've got a rimmed baking sheet lined with some parchment paper. You can also just use butter. And this is where we're gonna dump this afterwards. This recipe has me thinking of another recipe I attempted several years ago that was related to poop <laughs> and it was the kitty litter cake have you seen that before again another very kind of disgusting yet intriguing food related recipe and it's a cake that looks like a kitty litter box it's actually served or presented in a clean kitty litter box and then it has little turds on top that are made from squished up Tootsie Rolls. You see, you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? Because didn't we all squish up Tootsie Rolls and say it looked like poop? Yes. Well, this is the cake of that imagination. And it was a very, very convincing litter box cake. And it kind of made it difficult to eat because it just looked so much like what it was supposed to look like. But kids have a blast with it. My kids had the best time shaping the little kitty turds and then um, making the cake. So really fun kind of April Fool's birthday cake like thing. So this is what this recipe is reminding me of. All right, so we have our syrup bubbling happily away. Bubble, 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 bubble. I'm gonna have another Cheeto. Oh! All right, it's been five minutes. Now we're gonna take that off the heat and we're going to add 
an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda. And this is going to kind of create that sea foam kind of candy. See, it's changing color, kind of lightens, and it's going to puff up a bit. Now, we're going to pour that over our Cheetos. Wow. And coat everything as best we can. Okay, gotta work quickly because that stuff stiffens up really quickly. Now transfer this to our baking sheet. Whoa. <laughs> and then we're gonna pop this into a preheated 250 degree oven for about an hour. And we're gonna stir these every 15 minutes. So three times. And then we're gonna dump them out onto a countertop lined with wax paper so that they can cool off. And then we'll have our coyote poop. <laughs> All right, lovelies, I'll be back in just a little bit, about an hour once our poop has finished cooking. Alrighty, see you in a little bit. All right, my lovelies, I am back. I baked my Cheeto puffs in the oven for an hour, stirred them every 15 minutes, and this is the finished result. These are the puffs and these are the crunchy. Alrighty, so what I noticed when I poured the caramel on top of the cheese puffs, there didn't seem to be enough of it. And I think if I were to make this again, I haven't tasted them, so I don't know that I would make them again. I think I would reduce the amount of Cheetos or I would make the full batch and then just use one bag of Cheetos rather than two because it didn't seem to quite coat all of the puffs. So since I've never had these before, I'm not really sure what the texture or the finished product is supposed to look like. I'm thinking they're supposed to look like this, be completely enrobed in the caramel, as opposed to some of these, which have some on there. That actually has a good amount, but others hardly had any, just a little bit. So that doesn't look as much like coyote poop as that. Although I don't even know what coyote poop looks like. You know, well, we'll give them a taste. And then as far as the crunchy Cheetos, kind of the same effect. Here's a crunchy Cheeto. That's one that's well coated and then one that's not. So there are certainly a good amount that weren't that well coated. So let's try this one. It's super coated. All right, here we go. It's a Rocky Mouse. That candy coating is really good. It reminds me of butterscotch. It's buttery and has that great nutty toasted flavor of caramel. It's delicious, has a great big crunch. And then you've got this airy styrofoamy texture of the Cheeto and it's savory. Mmm, I like it. <laughs> good. Mm-hmm. Definitely candy. So if you want that much on it, which I think you do, then you would do the full amount of caramel with just one bag of Cheetos rather than two bags. I have the caramel recipe because the recipe required 16 ounces and I only had eight ounces. I would say do the full amount of caramel for one bag of Cheetos. Alrighty, let's try one that is less coated. So that's one side and then that's that side. Okay, let's try that one. Mm. That's still a Cheeto. You can definitely taste the corn, corn background, a little bit of cheeto -y flavor, and a little hint of sweetness. That does not taste like candied Cheeto. It's not enough. I think you definitely have to go over the top. This one is a crunchy one. Let's give that one a taste. Here we go. Ah. Mm. Delicious. When it has that much candy coating on it, it tastes like candy. It's butterscotchy, super buttery, toasty, nutty, caramel. It tastes like a Heath bar. You know, the inside of a Heath bar or a mm, score, I think they were called score bars. It tastes like that. 
so great and buttery. And then you've got a little bit of salt from the, well, a lot of salt actually from the Cheeto, corny, slight corny flavor. And then the cheese is there, but you don't really taste the cheese when you have it totally enrobed in crunchy toffee. Mmm. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, there you have it. The finished coyote poop, totally easy to make, absolutely delicious, fun little snack. I think the kids would enjoy making this as well. Thanks so much for watching and big thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to get a Helix Sleep mattress for yourself, click the link down below or head over to helixsleep.com slash to see how you can get up to $200 off your Helix Sleep mattress and two free pillows. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. I love hearing from you. Like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. This really looks like a dog Mm-hmm, as does this one. A little bit even in, you know, diameter. I think there would be a little bit more of a taper, but you know, still tasty. Very hard. Mm. Great crunch. Oh my gosh, so good.